here we will be talking about Android USP build system. Uh, we are talking Android USP build system. It, it is not about Android application build. Android application build is uh, based on Gradle based, based uh, build system, uh, which is not the case with Android USP. So uh, don't confuse with Android application build here. So USP source uh, code are uh, uh, if we explore uh, across the software, we'll see two kind of build scripts: Android.bp and Android.mk. So here, uh, Android.bp is, uh, if you see, uh, mainly for uh, native code compilation. Okay. So whether we are talking about uh, HAL implementation or GNI low layer things or some library or some daemon. So those are basically based on android.bp uh, build script. And uh, if you see uh, Java Java implementations, okay, all Java files uh, gets compiled by android.mk. Though we heard that uh, uh, android.mk will be completely uh, uh, completely gone in, in some time, but still it is there uh, and it was not official it seems. Uh, but that there was some talk here and there. So uh, uh, as of today in Android Q, we do have Android.bp as well as Android.mk. Android.mk is for Java. Android.bp is for C and C++ codes. Okay. Um, so if we are working into higher development or any low level development, then probably uh, then you will be working with Android.bp. Okay. So even dot uh, .hal files. Uh, and get uh, compiled with Android BP. So all these things, all this uh, like GNI or HAL and all. So those things we will see in separate session. So now we will uh, see only uh, Android build system. So here these two uh, build scripts uh, we, we we saw. But what uh, what is Android uh, build system is based on? So Android is at the core is based on Ninja build system. Okay. So Ninja is a build system at the core or the low layer. Uh, which which uh, compiles the source code ultimately okay which which uses cross tool chain ultimately of course and uh, compiles uh, it compiles and generate uh, binaries or machine code okay whether it it may be a bin executable or library or whatever form but ultimately those are the things which goes into the device okay um, uh, in packaged form so ninja is the build system but ninja is uh, uh, ninja, the, the, the uh, by the definition of ninja itself, uh, it always expects that uh, it uh, the input file to ninja is always dot ninja files. So where ninja always expects that their uh, that the architecture of ninja itself that uh, some other uh, build system made or meta build system better to say other meta build system would generate dot ninja files for it. And then from there on, Ninja will take action. Ninja is very uh, quick, fast, uh, and very efficient uh, build system. But at the same time, it uh, it doesn't do uh, high level things. It gives flexibility to the higher layer to do whatever scripting we uh, want. And ultimately, uh, Ninja just uh, cares about uh, to have dot Ninja files as input. So, uh, uh, so th that's the reason. Uh, this uh, we see uh, uh, this build scripts which are uh, based on android.mk or android.bp right so if we did start writing android uh, ninja files this will not be so convenient for the programmer so considering the flexibility and the ease to the developer this this uh, and also to optimize the uh, file search and uh, to to accumulate everything and do a lot of uh, configuration here and there so uh, considering all this um, meta build system is also important uh, there is a lot of difference it makes when we we change the meta build system itself so uh, uh, so uh, we should not underestimate meta build system here so ninja is definitely a very speedy uh, build system at the core but the higher layer uh, build system is also much important for its efficiency and that's why uh, Google keeps uh, upgrading its uh, meta build system uh, though the uh, core is still the same even uh, many of the Google projects are based on Ninja okay uh, Fuchsia is one among, uh, one among them 
which is going to come in future so we can see where the where uh, ninja is uh, how much futuristic okay so here if we go into uh, native uh, uh, sorry if you go into java files then android.mk is uh, metabit system is kati kati is a build system which uh, takes a java file um, and android.mk and java files as input that it generates dot uh, ninja files for configuration file basically uh, build configuration files for ninja build system so nin kati is the one kati is not very uh, since beginning uh, initially there was uh, make this build, build system uh, Kati got introduced uh, for to bring up a little efficiency because initially uh, the build system was not so efficient it was not uh, not so good so when Kati came it brought uh, some uh, some uh, hope like uh, uh, the recursive build system became uh, really uh, efficient it became fast though uh, there was not much difference between uh, when you when you compile for the first time so we uh, but at the same time uh, there are some issues with Kati like uh, uh, it has it is not great in garbage collection and all right so those things we got to see and those are not uh, those are kind of uh, flaws within Kati but still Kati is a good build system and that's the reason uh, Google came with uh, this uh, strong build system so all the native codes are now from Android uh, Oreo onwards that is 8.0 onwards are based on Sung build system Sung, um, if we see Sung build system, uh, it's a super hit. Uh, under Sung build system, we have blueprint, uh, uh, the blueprint parser, I would say. So uh, all the Android.pps are accumulated for a particular target, and those uh, those get passed by blueprint here uh, for uh, for all the. Uh, so basically, when we write uh, Android.bp, we are basically writing a blueprint script. Okay. Uh, so these are basically input for blueprint and and uh, there are some syntax here if we see android.mk and android.bp uh, there are some uh, difference in syntax uh, android.bp looks uh, more more of the program programmer friendly uh, uh, script, uh, script it is more like a json or uh, json kind of uh, build system even uh, a meta build system so uh, many of the uh, a new even a new uh, meta build system uh, compiler scripts are or build scripts are basically uh, uh, kind of uh, object oriented or even json kind of things okay so that's how uh, android dot bp also looks it looks uh, quite uh, close to uh, json uh, uh, json syntax okay and uh, android dot mk is uh, close to i would say uh, make based build system though it is not same uh, so there are so if you are uh, comparing android.mk and android.bp uh, build scripts those are i mean compile uh, whatever script we write there so those are not same those are entirely different scripting uh, way and that's the reason uh, uh, google uh, when they brought android.bp uh, script so many of the android.mk had to be translated into android.bp uh, uh, in script so uh, Google has done it their part, uh, but for the third party also, uh, like uh, if any vendor has implemented, and of course the vendors have, have implemented their own has and different things, so they have to translate their code also, right, uh, into B BP format, BP compatible or Blueprint compatible. So for that, uh, Google has given tool also where we can translate from Android or MK to Android or BP uh, using that tool, but that tool gives uh, um, <clears throat> it's it's not a, uh, it's not like a hundred percent uh, uh, translation. It does do it does this job quite well, but still there are so many uh, so many th uh, things which Android at MK cannot uh, sorry uh, Android at MK to Android at BP translation through that tool cannot be done. So uh, uh, there's some logics here and there's some flags it cannot sort out. So those things uh, it has to be resolved by manually. But uh, we are talking on today's date when uh, we are working into Android Q, right? Uh, so Android 10. So it is already a long time over, one version over. So by the time, by this time, most of the Android time keys are already converted into Android BP. So if you are working mostly in your projects, then you will be directly working into Android Android BP files. Your translation will not be very 
common for you if you're working into uh, newer projects okay uh, so those are already done it seems and uh, uh, this this uh, this introduction of Android and BP again I'm telling uh, our Zoom based build system came along with uh, um, project travel okay project travel brought it that so many major changes happened um, from Android <coughs> It onwards and run Oreo onwards. So if you have, were working in before, uh, before Oreo, and if you are working in uh, from Oreo onwards, you will definitely see a lot of uh, changes there. Okay, a lot of differences uh, uh, there. So uh, you should go through all this. Okay. Anyways, now we'll go into. Uh, so here, a ninja uh, has to be compiled. Ninja expects. Uh, and uh, .ninja files as input uh, and these are um, okay one second so uh, as we said like uh, this this uh, Kati and uh, Sung are uh, meta build systems so these are basically kind of translator uh, and uh, this both of these will generate ultimately .ninja files um, which is needed for Sung build system and uh, ninja will take those files uh, input files and then uh, ninja will take care of uh, compiling the complete source code okay so that's the uh, android build system architecture uh, structure so this if we see in the form of stack then uh, ninja is at the lower layer in the stack and uh, above ninja uh, will have Kati and sung sitting in parallel and sung has uh, blueprint uh, blueprint uh, uh, um, i mean uh, to pass android.pp files okay so that's how uh, android build system is and soong is efficient I, it's a very program friendly um so i like this one uh, that's right okay let's see uh, now what we can do with it in future sessions thank you